Hello again. We're still looking at power functions. And in this case, we've got an even power. We've got z to the 4 is all equal to 625. Remember, since we don't have to do any kind of rearranging, we just want to get rid of the fourth power. To do that, we are going to take the inverse power of both sides. So 1 fourth, or in other words, the fourth root of both sides. So 625, the fourth root, or 1 over fourth power. And when we plug this in our calculator, we should find that is equal to 5. But we actually aren't done. Our calculator will spit out 5. But there's actually two answers. The thing to consider is, again, fourth root means what has to be multiplied by itself four times to get 625? 5. 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 will do it. But so would minus 5. Minus 5 times minus 5 times minus 5. And I'll put the other minus 5 over here. If we multiply this through, then all the negative signs will become positive, and that will equal 625. So we actually end up with two answers. When we're taking the, uh, the root of an equation, and that root is even, we get two answers, if we get one. What do I mean by that? Well, what if I change this question and instead did z to the 4 of minus 625? Well, I could start off the same way, the bo both sides to the 1 4, and minus 625 to the 1 4, and I could plug that into my calculator, and it's going to spit back error, because you can't do this. You cannot get a real solution if you're taking the even root of a negative number. If you continue on with math, you might later hear about imaginary numbers, and you can find a solution there, but for our purposes, it doesn't matter. You can't take an even root of a negative number. So this would have no solutions. Nice simple question. This one ends up with 2, this one has none, and we're done.